Welcome to a special journey today. We're talking about something super important, supporting local businesses. It's like being a superhero for your community. Join us in celebrating the heart and soul of our neighborhoods. Let's get started. My name is Brian Onyama. Uh, most people know me as Graf Matwana and I'm the founder of Matwana Culture. Okay. So we work uh, with JJ in creating these uh, artworks okay. and toys and we've been doing this for the past five years. There's Bluetooth radio, mm -hmm. there's TV, even you can look inside there's a TV, there's video. Okay. You can you can you can to me by the Bluetooth. So you can connect your phone your from phone. Oh wow, and nice. You can nice. charge your phone too. Nice. You nice. can see the videos can hear the FM, all of that. Yeah, man, you guys, I told you, like, we have pure talent, man, in Africa, Nairobi, Kenya, man. How long have you been uh, doing the business? Uh, this is my 11th year. Okay. Uh, we started back in 2010. Okay. And uh, we've, we've always been working with uh, young people who are, who are interested in the creative arts industry. Okay. Uh, we highlight matatu, uh, pictures, we have events, videos, uh, even right now we have a school where we can train people who are interested in music and art. And uh, yeah, you can you can follow us on, on our social media sites and you can get also to know more about us. Atwana Matatukalji. You guys, you can see like inside the it has a TV screen, man. You guys, you can see this the design right here, man. Say, huh? It's a pure talent. See there's this uh, TV screen inside. Hi, thanks Elvis. Hi everyone, I'm Kush. Um, I co-founded Kitukali three years ago. Um, and what a journey it's been uh, since then. So everything we do is about impacting the communities, the local communities in particular, the Kibera communities, and continuing that impact. And that's, that's the thinking behind the brand. Not only is it about the community impact, but we use authentic you know, African fabrics that are sourced from different parts of Africa. Like we have our most popular one is from South Africa. We have you know, Maasai from Kenya, we have Kikoi from Kenya, we have Ankara from uh, West Africa, Kente from Ghana. Uh, so the idea is about showcasing African fabrics and you know, African vibrant colors into footwear. So this year is like the first stage of the process where we do the stitching. These are the uppers for the shoes. This is where we put them together into lining them. We put the African fabrics, the denim. The second stage is here where they are record on the last. You can see he's doing that now. He's putting the soles onto the, onto the last where the shoes are, take their shape and the shape is formed. Wow. Uh, my name is Donald Kweyu. I come from Kibera, the States. Uh, Kitukali has been a great organization, not only to the community, but to me personally. I've been a student before, so at Kitukali I've gained quite a lot of experience. It has also helped me, like, you know, avoiding so much that happens in the slums. So mine is to encourage uh, fellow youths down there in the slums to get something important to do. And also, 
viewers. Also, may you come out and support these wonderful products. Uh, it's quite a nice experience. You gain so much experience. Uh, also, if, uh, you've seen around the wonderful designs being brought out. I'm the manager. Okay. Yeah, I look after the quality. I do train some new students. So, as part of every purchase, we give you a shoe bag made again with African fabrics, Ankara fabrics, uh, for free. And within, inside there, you have your obviously you have your pair. And uh, you have a card here that we, we give everyone, and this is part of the empowerment that we would like to show is, it shows the craftsmen, some of the craftsmen that are making the shoe. We talk about, you know, that they've come from one of the largest urban slums in Africa, the Kibera slums, for people that don't know about Kibera. You know, we thank them, and it shows a little bit about how they can reach us. So that's again part of the empowerment and, and what we're doing as a company. I started this uh, back 2020, 2014, almost, yes, yes, where I started, though I started earlier, like my childhood, I grew up with this kind of art, so I've been doing this for many years. Currently, I'm doing this one, so somebody gave me this as a commission, so I'm doing this as a universe and you know, the, 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 the world on the space, so this is the first I'm doing right now, but the previous artist I did is this one is like a, you can use this is a historical paint historical pictures i painted it from mali Mirere and muini so they were like playing a game which is called bao in swahili so the very common and all the game in tanzania yes so there is you can see this is nyerere this is maria nyerere and this is muini the second president of Tanzania, and there are other elders who are local, almost stay around because the game is also accompanied with a lot of different elders, so wow. it's like that. And the other one, this I painted this to reflect the Paja beach, so this is like almost Paja beach, or usual looks green when it's like very during the summer period, so mm -hmm. shining very green. So I try to depict this picture in that way, yes, and the but Jahazi, or you can call it Dao. So this is a very common transport in the ocean and the fishermen use to do this for fishing activities. And that's the other one is, you can Stone Town and uh, you can find a lot of things. If you are familiar with Zanzibar, you should never miss this place. This place is called the Forozan area in Stone Town. And this is a very old building, which is like it used to be a Sultan Palace so in Zanzibar. So I depicted this uh, as to reflect the history of Zanzibar as well. Yes, and uh, the last I painted was this one. Yeah, this is Swahili kind of village, Swahili village. So they're like a very, very coastal village with uh, some coconut trees and houses and uh, kind of nature. So this is like to reflect the environment, the reality of how Zanzibar environment looks like. When you come across around here, you can find this kind of location around. Yeah. Yes, I do have Instagram account. Yeah, they can find me by Martin Africa. That's it. Without Africa with K, not C. So you write it without leaving any space or underscore. Uh, so you write Martin Africa just as it is. So you can find me there. We've had an incredible time shining a spotlight on our local heroes, businesses that make our communities special. If you enjoyed this journey and believe in the power of supporting local, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next episode. Bye bye. Jungo yo si ha ye jidao, shi shi lao ban Shi shi lao ban, shi shi ni te lao ban